In the autumn of 2014, Hong Kong became the site of pro-democracy demonstrations after the Chinese government announced plans for electing the city's next chief executive. Whilst the people of Hong Kong would be able to vote, candidates would be vetted by an election committee and would have to love the country and love Hong Kong. The refusal to allow open nominations fell short of the promised one-person, one-vote elections, and people took to the streets in the fight for what they called true democracy. For pro-democracy supporters, the existing chief executive, Si Wai Leung, has no popular support. We call him 689 because he has only got 689 votes and he is there to rule Hong Kong. And we want him to step down and then we want a uh, true democracy uh, without candidates pre-selected by Beijing. That's our long-term goal. We cherish democracy. But uh, at this moment, uh, what makes me feel really sad about the city is that some people, they um, just don't have the courage to fight back. They don't have the courage to stand on their feet. But that's not everyone in Hong Kong. Some of us still fight. Another center of protest was Wong Gok in the Kowloon Peninsula, which was seen by many as more volatile than the Admiralty District. In terms of uh, Cantonese, we call it Wong Gok. And Wong means a very lively, very vibrant, uh, very good in business kind of area. Gok is a corner, so it means it's, it's a very vibrant corner here. Protesters used the singing of Happy Birthday to upset peace attempts to clear the area. They really shouldn't have reopened the road, in my opinion, because there is just more congestion. They were sending ambulances through when they knew there was a protest going on. It, service is going to be delayed. They're just going to use the statistics against the protesters again. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just quite disappointing. After almost three weeks into this movement. I can tell the police are very tired and uh, mentally they are being tortured so much. As tempers frayed, police moved in using pepper spray and batons to clear protesters from the corner of Nathan Road. On an evening when protesters had regrouped and taken control of large sections of Wang Gok, their leaders saw hope for Hong Kong. I want to say that Hong Kong is full of chaos right now because the government has destroyed the faith, uh, the relationship between government and people. And I just want to say to the Hong Kong people, cheer up and hold their ground because we know that hope is coming right now. The sun is rising. And I want to tell those people that, that is in overseas, keep reinforcing Hong Kong. We need your help.